Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm just going to be doing a general love reading for you guys. Um, I'm back home. Um, thank you for everyone who's been bearing with me. I have personal readings to get out today. I know a few people um, ordered some over the weekend and I'm going to be getting those to you today. Um, they are open. Just give me about three day turnaround. If you would like a personal reading, email me at ariessoulguidance222 at gmail.com. Um, phone readings. I don't have any openings for phone readings until June 14th. <clears throat> so if you would like to still like to just um, book in advance, you can go ahead and do that as well. Okay. Um, yes. New hair. Do who this? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, um, I got my hair braided over the weekend. I love braids. You know, most black girls get braids throughout the year, mostly summertime, but I love it. I feel like a goddess when I get my hair braided. I really do. But anyways, <laughs> so maybe y'all can feel some of that goddess energy. I'm going to be going ahead and do, um, Okay, mama, it doesn't, it never fails. It never fails. As soon as I start hit recording, my mom starts texting me. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a general love reading for you guys. Um, okay, mom. My son is with my parents right now, so it's like you can't wait to get ready of kids, but then when they're gone, it's like, oh my God. Especially me and him. It's just me and him. No dad in the picture. I'm a single, single, single mom. My family, most of my family, not most of them, but a little bit of my family lives in Virginia. We are from Louisiana originally. That's a little background from me and that's where I live. So anyways, <clears throat> she's texting me about my son. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. Oh, the giveaway. So there have been five people who have guessed my sign and I'm like... My placement. So let me go ahead and give it to you. Drum roll. You guys have received an email from me already. I'm still waiting for one person to. And if that person doesn't um, respond, I have like two people on backup that I'm going to message you, send you a comment and say, hey, email me because you did guess my placement. And only one of you, no, I think two of you, um, it was a person who's on backup. So if that one person doesn't respond, they're going to miss out on the reading. But the backup person actually guessed my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And one person who's already been contacted guessed my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So my sun sign, of course, is Aries, right? I mean, that was a giveaway. I dedicated this channel to Aries. Although there are other people who do have um, individual sign channels who are not that sign. And I just, I don't understand that. But anyways, um... Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> my son is Aries, birthday is April 17th, um, my moon is Gemini, which we're about to have a new moon in Gemini, yes, 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 um, my rising sign is Cancer, and my Venus is also Gemini, so there you go. So a double Gemini placement is much fiery, and fire as it, I may seem, I have a lot, I have some air in there, a little flaky. Um, but, you know, air placements can be kind of like fire placements, too. You know, if you think about the element, fire is very, you know, and so is air. So that's kind of why I think we connect with air signs as well as long, um, as well as fire signs. And there's other signs that balance us out. But all right. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm going to use these cards for Aries. It's going to be a general love reading. See what comes up. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the Aries who need the message the most. Thank you. All right. What do we have here? Oh, thank you. Um, I think it's Kista. I, I think that I'm saying that wrong. Uh, forgive me if um, I don't say that right. Kista Elliot, you... Uh, comment on a lot of my videos and I saw that because I responded to a question of yours you sent me um a cash app yesterday and I really appreciate that I was in the airport when I got it and I went and got myself some coffee what made me just think of that is that I'm playing music and there's a coffee cup and I'm thinking I don't have any coffee here right now and I also don't have a vehicle to go get any so thank you so much for that that was my last cup of coffee and I cherish that thank you <laughs> so let's see here holy spirit one more card, please. There you go. Okay. So we have look inside yourself. 
All right. So we have examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay. You guys are feeling some type of way right now. Um, the wind is howling right now. I guess weather has been bad in Louisiana since I've been gone. Sounds like it looks like it's going to rain. So um, if you know, I can't put a towel under my door or anything. It's just always sounds like that when the wind comes. So it's dramatic, but there it is. Okay, so we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Beautiful. Okay, let's see here. Let's pull some romance angels and see what's going on here. All right, just keep in mind that my readings are for Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, Aries sign. Okay, not all readings are your reading, so it's not going to always resonate with you. So don't try to make it fit. Um, if it doesn't feel like this is your reading, I post plenty of readings. Um, okay, so. You could still watch for entertainment. Okay. We got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. Let's see. We got another card here. So we got let your friends help you. Okay. Ask for and support of others. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So what it looks like here is like somebody is, um, <clears throat> I don't want to say this, going through something. Maybe they need to check themselves. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Maybe somebody is like was having a bad day, a bad week, or they were going through a situation and they may have been taking it out on their partner. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, you may have been taking it out on your partner. You may have just been tripping a little bit. Okay. Both of you maybe, because this reflection card here is saying that you should give each other some space and then, you know, everything will work out. So maybe you need some girl time. Maybe you need to talk it out, girl time, guy time, and just need some separation. <clears throat> um, I don't think this doesn't feel like this is an end all be all. I mean, at the bottom of the deck, though, we do have to pay attention to the red flags. But when that card comes out, that doesn't always have to be about your partner. That can be about you, okay? Um, you may be going through some sort of, tr you may have some triggers, um, and you are taking them out on your partner, okay? So we have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, reflect relationships reflect our wounds and introspection, okay? And that did come out in reverse. So there might be something here that you're not seeing. And what it looks like is that you guys could be more alike than you think. Um, if you were just to happen to talk to your partner, right, in a positive way, maybe something could get resolved. Now we have date in reverse. Um, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Okay, so all these cards have come out in reverse. Let's see. Hmm, okay. So I'm getting another storyline now here with this date in reverse and this mirroring each other. Let me wait for this one to, my card to come out. And, all right, here. Give me one more card, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Spirit God, the angels. There we go. <laughs> wow. So look at that. We have girl talk. I just said that time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay. So there may be somebody new here, but that you haven't spoken to yet, or you have, may have not gotten the courage to go up and speak to yet um, for whatever reason. Not sure why. Most Aries don't really feel that way. But um yeah. And so give it time here. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm seeing here. That was the other message is just give it time. There is chemistry here. I feel like with this mirror energy, there's probably going to be more things that you have in common with each other than you even know. Um, and just give it time. Let this unfold naturally. Um, speak to your friends. We have this girl talk and let your friends help you. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. And it's on top of the stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. 
So maybe, I don't want to say you've been rejected, but maybe there's someone who you have your eye on and nothing has really happened yet and you know you feel the chemistry between you two and you're not really sure what's going on. Possibly give that person space. Um, think about it in a positive way. Allow them to come to you, okay? Um, what's meant for you will never pass you by. And if you're into somebody new or whatever, here's a way of manifesting them into your experience without you having to go to them. At the bottom of the deck, we have passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. So I feel like there is a there's a chemistry here. There is something. There's a spark. It's not in your head. It's not made up. Um, but this person possibly is not coming forward, not coming to you, and you don't know why, okay? Um, this could be somebody that you are already involved with, and they're acting differently. But I don't think it's the end-all, be-all because of this, you know, stay optimistic um, card. Okay, let's see here what's going on. What's going on in the Aries love life? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so we have the devil here. Someone is dealing with something toxic. Um, and when I, when I, there's a, there's a wide umbrella underneath toxic, right? Um, and when I say toxic, it means that something is, has you tied down that you cannot be released from. And it's usually with the devil card, the devil is an illusion, right? Because these chains really aren't real, but they feel like they are. They really, really feel like they are. Like sometimes you can physically feel the pull or the connection to something unhealthy. And you were like, why does this keep pulling me back? So this is possibly the reason here that this person or you is going through something. There may have been, because I did see the karmic card, they may be a past person or a past situation or struggle or addiction that is, and when I say addiction, addiction again is a wide umbrella. You can be addicted to a relationship, person, gambling, your job, um, all kinds of things. I'm not just talking about drugs, but that, that there's that too. Um, but there's something here that they're battling, okay? There's something someone here is battling, something someone has is tied to something here. They're going through something really deep. We have the nine of swords here as well. So that means that this person is really in their head about it, um, very stressed out about the situation. They possibly feel a connection towards you, but there's still something that they're still chained to or um, still trying to work out or free themselves from. Mm -hmm. So see, look. Now we have this, the Page of Cups, right? And the Ace of Cups. The Page of Cups here in the challenge position talks about, Page of Cups it could be communication, right? When somebody's like, oh, I like you, I'm gonna go out on a date with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's also about following your heart. And this person, whoever this is coming towards you or you know you going towards them, the challenge here is to follow their heart, follow your heart because of this situation that has you tied down. It's like, they really want to come towards you, but there's this, and this is not, this is major, okay? When the, the, the devil is a major arcana. So it's not small potatoes. They're really dealing with something, and um, you know how that is, okay? So that's why the Page of Cups is in a challenged position, but I feel like there is, this is the same cup here. This Ace of Cups and this Page of Cups, that's the same cup. They want to offer you something new, but they're kind of stuck. And again, you know, the devil talks about whatever this thing that is keeping them stuck is really just an illusion. It's all in their head. Okay. So here we have the judgment. This talks about divine intervention, right? Really having to revisit something and then release it, let it go, make a final decision. Either you're going to go back to it or you're going to break away from it. Okay. Completely up to you. It's like being at a crossroads. Let's see what happened in the past here. Something come out? I thought something came out. Oh, it did. So we have the two of wands, all right? So the two of wands here is talking about taking action, a choice, right? Could be between two people, the new and the old as well. It's fire energy. That could be you, Aries, who is dealing with that. 
um, choices in love, right? Not knowing if you wanted to go to the new, not knowing if you wanted to go to the old. And this could be you as well, okay? This could be you who's trying to make a decision about going back to your person or having something new come towards you because it looks like there is something new here. Let's see here what's crowning you. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Indecision. Okay, am I investing in this? Am I not, right? Okay, or I have invested in this and I'm not seeing anything come from it. It's like being in deep contemplation. Everything is fine, pretending like everything is fine. So something may have ended in the past and you're really just not healed from it yet. Possibly both of you. What's going, what's coming here in the future? There it is. So we have the Ace of Cups coming towards you in the future. So this person is going to reach out to you. Eventually, they're going to reach out to you. They're going to talk to you. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles that came out as well. I'm going to put those back. But So that there may be the confusion, the indecision going back and forth in their head. Um, but there is going to be an offer of love. Okay, this could be like a date or say, hey, I'm, I really like you. I've been checking you out. There's chemistry here. Maybe you possibly could have been flirting with each other. Um, I don't know. There's love here. Wow. There's Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, Queen of Cups. Wow. Ace of Wands. So there's definitely love here. There's definitely a new start here, a new beginning. I just feel like someone, both of you or one of you is really in your head about um, coming forward or trying to figure out why you know this person hasn't come forward yet because the reflection card here is saying right now whoever this love interest is give them oh, excuse me water did that okay <laughs> give this person space um and it could be both of you right you may be ready to jump into this new thing which is coming aries it definitely is coming but you could possibly be chained or tied to something in your past as well. And it's like you guys are mirroring each other. And the fact that this mirror came out in reverse, it's like you guys are mirroring each other and probably thinking the same thing about each other and don't even know it yet. When you realize that, okay, we were mirroring each other, then this this card, you know, would be upright. But there's, you are mirroring each other. You just don't know it. Like, you're kind of like, oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with this person. Like, why they won't come forward to me? Or they're probably thinking the same thing. And you know both, like, damn well, you're both dealing with something from the past right now. Let's see what energy you're in, Aries. Yeah, so you're definitely dealing with something, Aries. Five of Cups here. Um... And that always feels like to me the past, something that has happened to you. Ten of Cups here. You know, so happiness is right not far off, right? Behind you is the Two of Cups. But you're still, again, wallowing about something that happened to you before. Look. You better get over it, okay? Let's see here what's in your environment. Because you got new love coming in. Look at that. Nine of Cups. You got a good new love coming in. I feel like whatever the situation is, it's going to be very, it's going to be like, wow, it's going to be a breath of fresh air. The Nine of Cups is something that you've been wishing for, you've been hoping for. There's a lot of cups here, a lot of water elements, a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, something that you've been wanting. And it's not going to happen until you completely move away from whatever this is that has you sad and, and down in the dumps, okay? Wow, look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. So pot potentially this new connection could lead to some sort of real commitment here. Timing is everything, guys, okay? Right, timing is everything, I love that. Because the Ace of Pentacles here, if you, got, if you can give this person time and this person can give you time, I don't feel like you're going anywhere. I got chills just speaking about that when I've said timing is everything. Um, stay optimistic, have fun, you know, give each other space for right now because it's going to unfold and it, and when it does unfold, it's going to be really beautiful. Okay. So we have the four of pentacles, four of pentacles can talk about really pulling, sometimes pulling your energy back. For me, it, it looks like here it's, it's, it's being stable, being secure, standing your ground. Um, but let's clarify here. you also waiting. I'm getting the energy. King of Swords here. Yeah, okay. So stand your ground. Hold, you know, 
be secure in the way you're thinking, how you're feeling. I feel like this person is going to come towards you and communicate. The King of Swords here, they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look at that. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Twin Flame Energy, happiness, joy, peace. This person is going to come towards you and talk. The King of Swords here, right? They're going to come towards you and talk and eventually tell you why they have been feeling this way, why they have been acting this way. All these cards fell out. Clarify the King of Swords. So we have the Seven of Wands here and the Knight of Swords. Somebody is really in their head about something, really anxious about something. Oh, there goes the ring. Eight of Cups here. <clears throat> There's something new coming towards you, Aries. But before this new comes towards you, I feel like there's a past energy here, or there's something that you're dealing with from the past, and you're really letting it get to you. You're really letting it get to you. Now, this could be that King of Swords, could be the person here from the past, and you really just have no more emotions for them. Let's clarify, because it's... It just feels like you're letting something unnecessarily get to you. The Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, you're walking away from someone or something that has been um, really toxic and really draining towards you. All right, let's see what the King of Swords, what is the King of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this feels like the new person then. <clears throat> what is the Seven of Wands? The Two of Swords. So it's it's two. There's two people here. Three of Swords. Somebody may be coming back from your past at the same time. And the Temperance. We have Sagittarius. Okay. So divine timing is at play here. That's exactly what I was saying before. There could be somebody, and this could be the person that, the new person, they're dealing with somebody or something from their past. It's drama, okay? It's really drama. To me, me personally, okay? I can't tell you what you would do. But if I know somebody, you know, I have a connection with a new person and they're still, I think we kind of said did story, something like this, the storyline that came up. I don't know about Secret Admirer or something like that. But if you're dealing with something of that nature, you know, ex-husband, ex-wife type of situation, if it's just a regular ex and there was no assets involved and, you know, um, shit like that, you could just walk away, you could just walk away. There's really no excuse to be still dealing with an ex. But this feels like that there is a reason to be, okay? I don't see children here, but possibly could be more for like financial situations going on. Give them time. Right, you don't want to be involved with that. You don't even need to be giving them advice about that. Just give them time to clear this situation up because I feel like divine timing is at play here. And when that is cleared up, everything is going to be good for you. Okay, we have the temperance and the will of fortune here, the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups. You have two aces, so there is going to be a new beginning, but something here just has to be cleared. And spirit is saying, Be patient because. You know, things you never know what's happening behind the scenes and could be for your benefit too. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really missed being at this spot at this table. Um, I'm gonna try to do a few more readings. Um, be patient with me this week because I also started uh, taking summer classes. Um, you know how that is, but um, I will, you'll see me a lot. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.